Hi, this is JP from Not A Lights Over Arkham. This time we are continuing the playthrough of the Return to the Night of the Sealot campaign uh, using the new Edge of the Earth investigators, uh, Bob Jenkins and Lily Chen. Uh, last time in the Gathering scenario we managed to get 7 experience to the deck, so first off, uh, let's look what upgrades we did to a lot of the decks. First off, we have Lily Chen, and uh, we had 7 experience, so uh, I removed one uh, ward of protection, uh, 2 emergency caches, and 2 enchanted blades from the deck. Uh, the enchanted blade was just a placeholder uh, to uh, be a weapon to get out, but I think I will <laughs> from now on not even play that. Uh, instead, uh, we get a couple of um, level 2 get over here. Uh, this is really a useful event in this, the Midnight Mass scenario. So, uh, because we are spawning cultists all over Arkham, this lets us keep Lily in a central location and just grab those um, cultists and defeat them fast. So. Uh, I think this is a good addition, and I think it will work pretty well in the um, last scenario also. Next we have a uh, sweeping kick, and this is a new card from the Edge of the Earth box, and this basically is to um, help us when we are fighting either the masked uh, hunter or the other one that comes in the return to version uh, that will spawn from the agenda deck. Uh, we have a way to uh, fight that enemy and uh, then automatically evade it so that we have a chance to fight it uh, multiple times and not uh, waste actions to evading. And uh, lastly we have on the trail and uh, this is again a new card from the Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion. It lets us uh, either move twice toward an enemy or discover one clue at any empty location between you and the chosen enemy along the shortest path to reach that enemy. So again, uh, a slash of engaging enemies or, or saving actions, moving or getting clues. So a uh, pretty useful healing card so hopefully it will serve well and uh, I, I added two get over here uh, one copy of on the trail and one, uh, two copies of sweeping kick so those are Lily's cards next let's look at what cards we added to Bob's deck so here is uh, the upgrades we did to uh, Bob's deck so I removed two of the lanterns uh, these were probably the weakest uh, clue tech cards we had, and I feel that we won't be needing them. Uh, then I removed one Gravedigger Shovel, again pretty useless, I feel like, for Bob. Then uh, you handle this one. Uh, we removed this because I think it is so rarely that I get to use this card, so I, I feel it's a useless card in the deck. And uh, I added new cards, so one untimely transaction. This is uh, again a new card. So uh, this card lets us reveal an item asset in your hand. Another investigator at your location may play that asset as if it were in their hand. If they do, draw a card and gain one resource, uh, or gain resource equal to that asset's printed cost. Then uh, an interesting card, Black Market. Uh, this is a fast card to play. It's an event. Uh, play at the start of the investigation phase. One at a time, reveal cards from the top of any investigator's uh, decks until exactly five cards have been revealed. Set those cards aside out of play while set aside any investigator may play any of those cards as if they were in their hand. At the start of the next investigation phase, shuffle each of those cards still set aside into the owner's deck. So not sure about if this is a really good card, but it's uh, a fun card, so I 
decided to try it out. Lastly, we have a uh, Ethereal Slip, and this is also from the Edge of the Earth uh, Investigator expansion. So this is uh, choose a non-elite enemy at any revealed location, swap places with that enemy. So this lets us uh, move to the uh, other side of the board really fast. So I hope hope this will work well in uh, this this game. So those were the upgrades to the, the decks. Uh, we have set up the scenario. So uh, last thing, because we burned down the house, we start in River Town. So let's reveal that. And it is the new version. So uh, force route one clue per investigator, discard a card with X. Uh, will icons remove X Doom from a cultist enemy in play? Both units once per game. So uh, it's a bit harder to investigate, but the ability on it is, is quite powerful. So we'll see how, how that goes. Uh, all of the decks are shuffled. We have five random uh, cultists in there. So um, let's see how this goes. So let's get started. Let's uh, start by drawing our opening hand. So we'll start with Lily. Uh, we get uh, get over here. Hello, mirror, dragon fall, Alcan initiate, and sweeping kick. So actually, I think I will keep uh, these three. We'll try to find a spell. So we get uh, read the signs and healing words. So. That is okay, so uh, I think we are playing the Arcane Initiate down so that we can start hunting down more spells so we can get the Dragon Ball online. And that is our starting hand for Lily. And uh, of course, as usual, I forget to put the resources down. Let's quickly add them to the table. So both Bob and Lily both have five resources. Uh, we'll draw our starting hand for Bob. Uh, bandages, easy mark, black market, hit me, flashlight. I think... Um, we'll keep the flashlight and easy mark. Three, we get the uh, 21 or bust, uh, old key ring, and jury rig. So, a pretty decent starting hand. So, our plan is to uh, first use Bob's ability to play the Dragon Ball for Willy, then uh, add the jury rig on it and play the old key ring and uh, Possibly the... Well, I think we could start investigating, but uh, we'll see how we go. We are definitely starting with uh, Bob, so I will use Bob's ability. And uh, for that, Lily reveals his hand. So we have uh, the Dragon Pole, so we'll play that. It costs three resources and Lily Two, Bob will use one. Just double checking. So, uh, both investigators may spend resources to pay its cost, so we split the tab. Second action. I will play the jury rig on it. Gets the three durability. And lastly, uh, no, uh, our second action. Rather, uh, I will play the old key ring and I will play the flashlight for our last action. So the flashlight has uh, three charges and the key, old key ring has two. That's Bob's turn. We'll go to Lily. Uh, I will play the Arcane Initiate down. 
comes into play with Doom, I will firstly exhaust it to search for spells. Uh, we don't find any spells this time. Quickly shuffle the cards back into the deck. So that was our first action. Second action, I will play Read the Signs, Pain 2. Uh, we add our uh, intellect to our willpower, so I'm investigating 5 versus 4. A bit risky, I know, but oh yeah. Um, one thing I usually forget when I'm playing two-handed is that in the setup, if there are exactly two players in the game, search and gather in other sets for one copy of Acolyte and spot it in the south side. So, uh, because we are using the return to uh, encounter sets, we'll pick the discipline of the Devourer, because that is the only one health uh, cultist in play, or in the encounter deck. So, little mistake in the setup, but luckily we catch it in time. So, spawn farthest empty location. Uh, and this had to come into south side. Okay. So, after you spawn Disciple of the Devourer, you must either place one Doom on it, or place one of your clues on its location, so we can't do the lat latter, so we have to do the first, so we'll add that. And now we're back to reading the signs. And actually... Well, I'm not committing anything to the test, so testing 5 versus 4. Hoping to grab it, so it's a plus 1. So, uh, read the signs goes through, we'll grab two clues from this location, and before we lose them, I'm um, just double checking, so... Uh, investigators spend two clues per investigator as a group, so I still can't uh, reveal a cultist from here, I need four clues. So, uh, last action... I think I will head down here. Can take uh, one damage, and another thing I forgot that uh, Lily has one mental trauma, or has two, so we'll just mark those. And uh, that is uh, our whole turn. So enemy actions. This guy engages us, hits us for one damage. We'll definitely hit him back next turn. Uh, we'll uh, ready up. We drop one card for Bob, flashlight, and one card for Lily, Dragon Hole. So that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we start by adding a Doom. Encounter card for the, this turn for Lily is because Lily is the first player. So obscuring fog. Oh yeah, and uh, I moved to south side, forgot to reveal it, so we'll just reveal it now. So uh, we get a clue token, we get an obscuring fog here. It's a bit annoying, well, we have to make do. Uh, we get uh, Bob's card, and it is a crypt chill. So. He might be losing the flashlight all, all the old hearing, so let's see. Minus two. I will lose the old hearing. Because the flashlight has more charges on it. Okay, and that is the middle phase. We'll head up into the investigation phase. So uh, first action I'll do it. The first turn with Bob, so we'll move down here. We'll investigate. Uh, I won't use the flashlights. Or I will, because there is the fog. So, uh, 4 versus 2. 
Uh, it's a skull. Skull is a minus x. X is the highest number of doom on a cultist enemy in play. So it's minus one, so we succeed. We'll grab one to Bob. Uh, last action. We, oh yeah, now we get rid of the obscuring fog. So last action, uh, I won't use the flashlight this time, so forward to minus one. I will grab the clue. Uh, we'll go to Lily. Lily will just attack. Uh, this should be ready. So uh, before that, I'll use the arcane initiator for a spell. We find Lita, safeguard and ward of protection. Well, I'll grab the ward because that is a spell. Shuffle this. Yeah, we should have had some resources. So got. Uh, yeah, first action we are hitting with the Dragon Ball. I'm just hitting uh, four, five versus three. Five versus three. Uh, I'm committing the Dragon Ball. Six versus three. Zero. Uh, we hit and defeat this enemy. Second action. Hmm. I will uh, do the action to search my deck for an ally asset and put it in my hand. Will grab Lita. Shuffle our own deck. Not still playing Lita because I want to use the Arcane Initiate a couple of more times. Maybe use it as a soap. And last action, we'll uh, spend four clues and reveal uh, the top card from here. So we get Herman Collins and uh, he will spawn in the graveyard. And uh, these are not elite, so can actually use some of the tricks in uh, our investigators' new cards against them. So uh, that is uh, the investigation phase. We'll go to the enemy phase. No actions. We'll go to upkeep and ready up. Draw cards. Uh, Professor William Webb and Clarity of Mind will gain some resources. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. Uh, three of uh, six. Because we have the arcane initiate here. And counter cards. So first Lily. The, the masked horrors. Each investigator with two or more clues takes two horror. If no horror is dealt by this effect, place one doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the agenda to advance. So we. Add one doom here. Uh, then, actually, rather than that, don't want to lose turns. I will actually play the War of Protection for this. So take the horror on the initiate. We don't resolve that. Uh, Bob's card is uh, Mask of Umaldov. Uh, that's the hardest cultist enemy and place one doom on that enemy. If there are no cultist enemies in play, so it's the counter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy, draw it and add that's it. Uh, uh, mask of Umordo to it, shuffle then counter deck. Uh, attach enemy gets plus two health. If that if attached enemy is uh, not unique, it gains aloof. Okay, so We'll place it on Herman Collins, because it's the only cultist in play. So Herman has four health, but uh, we can still defeat Herman by discarding cards, which I will probably do. Okay, and uh, we'll start our turn, so... Just thinking what we should do here. We 
could uh, start moving to the St. Mary's Hospital. So I'll do that. So I'll move first with Lily. Uh, there are two ghouls here, Shroud of Two. And second action, I'll move to the university. We have the old university, not, not the new card. There are four clues here. And uh, last action, we'll move here and next turn Lily will go and defeat her possibly. I uh, will go to Bob and Bob will Bob will play uh, Professor William Webb. And the professor comes into play with three secrets. Second action move to St. Mary's Hospital and last action we will actually uh, just investigate here for versus two. It's a minus three so we actually failed that so not getting any clues so that is our whole turn. No enemy actions we go to upkeep. Uh, before that actually I'm using the uh, arcane initiate Search for a spell. Uh, we find no spell, unfortunately. So we shuffle the deck, but we also dodge the basic weakness. So that's okay. Then we ready. We draw a card, so Bob gets another professor, one resource, and Lily gets a talisman of protection and one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We'll add a doom. So one, three, four of six encounter card for Lily is Mask of Umordos. So again, um, no other cultist, so we add attach it here. And uh, uh, Bob's card is uh, Hunting Night Gun. So Bob has to deal with that enemy. Okay, um, we'll start with Lily, so uh, first action, oh yeah, this should be ready, so I'm searching for a spell, uh, we don't find a spell, unfortunately. Or that was the free action. Uh, first action, I'll draw a card. Healing words. Second action, I'll move to the graveyard. So after you enter graveyard, test uh, will three. If you fail, you must either take two or move to river town. Uh, testing three versus three, not using anything. It's a minus four. I will take the horror. So Lily has three horror taken. Last action, uh, Herman Collins engages us, but we will use the ability to discard four. So I'm discarding healing words, clarity of, well, uh, the other healing words. I think I'm discarding this sweeping kick at this point. No. Yeah, I think I'll keep the talisman. So we'll discard the clarity of mind and we we'll kick. So Herman Collis is added to the victory display. Just place him over there. So one cult is defeated at least. That is Lily's turn. Uh, we'll go to Bob. So Bob will try to evade this guy, so uh, 
Uh, we are evading three versus one, not committing anything. It's a zero. Uh, this uh, uh, hunting knight gun is evaded. Second action. We'll investigate here. Plus one. I will actually use the professor here. We'll grab a clue from here. Last action. Uh, we will move here. And that is actually our turn, so enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, be ready up. We draw cards, so Bob gets an uh, untimely transaction, and Billy gets a promise of power. And both get resources. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So we had a two. Uh, we are at a five of six. Encounter card for Lily is. Um, I forgot to add clues here. Uh, Lily gets hunting shadow. Uh, we have to take the damage because we don't have any clues to spend. So I'm actually killing off the arcane initiate at this point. Then uh, Bob gets Disciple of the Devourer, so uh, spawn farthest empty location, so the farthest empty location is uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, so I think it's uh, downtown. Then. Uh, after you spawn Disciple of the Devourer, you must either place one Doom on it, or place one of your clues on its location. If... Okay... It is still one, Agenda 1A, so we can choose... So we could... Well, we are advancing. No, we are not advancing, so we need to go and kill that. Can we do it this turn? So I'm actually just placing the blue on its location. So it spawns to downtown. Okay, and uh, we'll start with we'll start with Bob. So first action, we will investigate. Investigating two versus uh, uh, four versus two plus one. I will exhaust uh, the professor. Grab a clue from here. Second action here. Uh, last action. I will move over here. So we are testing uh, the willpower test four versus, uh, I mean two versus one, two versus three. I don't think I'm committing anything. Well, um, Lily will actually commit this, so we'll add one curse token to the back. So we are testing six versus three minus two. We are able to pass it, and that is Bob's. So, uh, investigate, move, move. Uh, last action. Uh, I'll spend two resources. Lay down the Talisman of Protection for Lily. So, that is Bob's turn. Lily's turn is to. We could just uh, try to investigate here, so, um, investigating uh, two versus one elder sign, we'll grab a clue, 
Second action, investigate two versus one. It's a plus one. Last action. It's another elder sign. Okay, uh, pretty lucky there. Forgot to disguise over here. And that is our whole turn, so enemy phase, uh, the hunt, uh, night can't hunt, will hunt over here. Nothing else happens, upkeep, pop gets, hit me, uh, Lily gets uh, clarity of mind, and both get resources, so... That is uh, that turn, uh, we of course ready up again, and we'll go to the next turn. We had a doom, so we are at 5 of 6, encounter card for Lily is... A corpse taker, farthest empty location. At the end of the mythos phase, place one doom on a corpse taker. Forced at the end of the enemy phase, corpse taker moves once towards the river town or main path. If corpse taker is already at river town or main path, uh, move all doom from corpse taker to the current agenda. So we definitely need to kill off that. And the farthest location is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And so basically all of these three locations and when did this guy move? So Place it over here. And uh, Bob's card is uh, Masked Horrors. It's investigator with two or more clues, takes two horror. Okay, so Lily takes two horror. Not looking good for Lily. And nothing else happens. That is the Mutter Space. Uh, we'll start by. Bob, so I will uh, investigate and uh, use this. Uh, so we only use it after we successfully investigate. So investigating four versus one. It's a skull, it's a zero, because uh, it's a minus one actually, because this guy has a doom. So we are successful, we'll discard this, grab this into our hand. Uh, I'll use the extra action to play this down. Second action. We'll move here. Last action. We'll move over here. So East Town is a four strat location. It's the new one, so add two supply tokens to an ammo token to an asset you control. Well, that's pretty useless. Again, four clues here. And then... back up. <laughs> I will rather move 
or else because this guy moves here so uh, we played the card we investigated we have two moves so I'll move to the Miskatonic University that is our turn uh, Lily's turn oh yeah we grab this clue here Lily will uh, spawn a cultist and we get a uh, root turner so root will spawn at St. Mary's Hospital Mark puts it down with this so I think uh, Lily will head there Rather, we'll move uh, one, two, no. So one action, second action, we'll play Clarity of Mind. Last action, we'll play uh, Little Chandler. And uh, that is Lily's turn. Enemy face, the Night Count moves here, engages Bob, hits Bob for one and one. Just kill off the professor, and this guy moves here, and that is that turn. For enemies, we'll go to upkeep. We ready. We draw cards, sledgehammer, and hit me. And we gain resources. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add the doom, so we advance. So. Remove this six two one here. We'll flip this card, and it is uh, the mask hunter. So, uh, mask hunter comes into play. Spawn engages with prey. Prey is most blue, so prey is a lily. So, I think lily will start eating on the mask hunter. Trying to defeat it. So the mass hunter has uh, eight health. So we have some work to do. And Bob just has to fend for himself, basically. So uh, we'll start with Lily. No, uh, we we'll start with the middle space. So first action, uh, first encounter card for Lily. It is the locked door. So. Attached to the location with the most clues, so Miskatonic University is locked. And locked door and St. Mary's Hospital is also. So that was uh, pretty easy. It was face. So we start with Lily. And I'm hitting the Mass Hunter uh, using the Dragon Pole. So I have four, five, six, seven against four and I have plus one damage but this is not a monster so we don't get so we need to hit it four times so I'll hit it twice this turn and next turn oh yeah this should have some tokens on it I haven't used it yet so first action seven versus four I'll Actually, use this. So nine versus four. Skull is a zero. It's a... actually this guy gets a doom. So yeah, it lost one doom and it gains one doom. So minus one. We hit. We deal two damage. Second action. We'll hit again. Again, I'll use this. It's a curse. Minus one. So the curse goes away, but we still hit. So two more damage. We are four of eight damage in. Uh, last action, I mean, uh, evading. Let's move this guy over here. So evading uh, three versus. 
to Elder Sign again, so we evade the Mask Hunter. That is our turn with Lily. Uh, Bob's turn. Bob will uh, evade uh, 3 versus 1. Plus 1. We evade. Uh, second action. We'll move down here. And uh, last action. This uh, root turn engages us. We will evade root. So 3 versus 5. We'll go 5, 6 versus 5, 7 versus 5. So we are 2 up. Minus 2. So uh, root is evaded. We'll add it to the victory display. These go into discard, and that is Bob's turn. And we are not playing anything, we don't have the resources, so enemy phase, this guy moves here. Uh, upkeep, we ready up, we draw, so Bob gets through dealings, and we get on the trail. Lily and we'll add resources and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom. Lily's encounter card is Wings of Darkness. Test agility 4. If you fail, take 1 damage and 1 horror, then disengage from its on uncut enemy. Uh, uh, we are testing. I'm actually committing the on the trail. An enemy at any location other than yours. I'm committing that, so 4 versus 4. I really want to stay here to fight and kill off this guy. So, uh, we basically need Elder Sign plus 1 or a 0. It's a 0, so we pass. Uh, Bob's card is uh, false lead. Uh, I have no clue, so it searches. Hunting shadow, we have to take damage because we don't have any clues. So we'll take two damage on Bob. That is the mythos phase. Uh, we'll go to the investigation phase. So Lily starts. I'll use the last card from here. Uh, we don't discard that runs out of resources, so I'm hitting 9 versus 4. 0, uh, another 2 damage. Then I'm hitting 7 versus 4, minus 1, so we managed to defeat the Mask Hunter. Dealing 8 damage to it, goes into the victory display. So 3 of 6 down, last action. Uh, what do we want to do for our last action? Because that's. Uh, corpse Taker is in there. So uh, I think next turn we will. There, so this turn I'll just draw a card, find the arcane initiate, and we'll go to Bob. Uh, Bob tries to invade. Um, first, we need to actually break down the door here. This is not that important anymore. I think I have to try and break down the door. That should be here. Or one, two. Okay. 
the night current will catch up to us no matter what so i'm trying to break down the door i'm committing these two cars so uh, i'm using agility so five versus four it's a skull it's a minus one so we are able to um, break down the door second action i'm using the old uh, flashlight so i'm investigating four versus zero Uh, it's a minus one. Last action. Uh, I'll investigate again. Yeah, it's a uh, minus three, so uh, we are investigating against zero, so I'll grab the clue. And that is our whole turn. Enemy face. Uh, the hunting knight can't move in here. Gates hits Bob for one and one. Uh, this guy at the end of the enemy phase, Cop Sega moves. If Cop Sega is already at River Town, move all Doom from Cop Sega to the current agenda instead, so that is there. And that is the. Uh, yeah, that is the enemy phase or the end of the turn, so we've got to upkeep. We draw cards, uh, 21 or bust, and safeguard, and we gain some resources. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, so 3 of 8. Uh, Lily's encounter card on Wings of Darkness. Well, that is painful. Don't have anything to commit, so 3 versus 4. Minus 1, we fail. Well, uh, we saved an action, but we took a damage and a horror. I'm actually taking them on beta. Uh, Pops encounter card, another disciple of the devourer. We have to place one of our clues on it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So basically, one of those locations just. Uh, put it on here. And it gets a doom. So this guy's there, this guy's there. And that is the mythos phase. We'll go to the investigation phase. So we'll start with. Uh, Lily. Lily has uh, the corpse taker to deal with, so that actually gets doom. We are hitting it, uh, it's fight four, so we are hitting uh, one, two, three, seven versus four, and we are dealing three damage to it because uh, it's a monster and we have Lita. Minus one. This guy is defeated. Second action. I'll move to East Town. And so, four more clues here. And last action we will. Hit uh, the discipline of the devourer. Seven versus three. It's a minus four, so we still hit. This guy is defeated. That is Lily's turn. Uh, we'll go to Bob. Uh, I'll start by evading. And I'm committing the no, uh, three versus one. Uh, it's a minus four because we double it, so we'll try again. Uh, one, uh, three versus one. Another minus two, so 
Okay, it's not looking good. Three plus one. Hopefully we can manage. No, auto fail. So Bob is in trouble. Take one damage and one horror in the enemy face. We'll go to upkeep. Bob gets uh, black market. Lily gets get over here. That actually might help. And we'll get some resources. So um, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom, four of eight, and counter card is uh, for Lily. False lead. If you have one or more clues, test uh, intellect four. Where? Oh, yeah. For each point you fail by place one of your clues on the location. We have one clue, so we have to test. We don't have anything to commit to this test, so minus one, we fail, we drop our clue here. Feeling pretty much that we are not getting any more cultists out. Uh, Bob's card is another night gun, so not looking good. So I think we have to do some uh, work to save Bob. So I'll start with Lily. I'll move over here. Uh, I'll play get over here. So it's a fast action. Uh, cost two. I'll pick a, a non elite enemy up to two locations away. So one, two. So I'll pick one of the night guns. It moves, engages us, and uh, I will attack it. So, hitting 7 versus 3. Tablet is a minus 3. Uh, still, I hit, and because it's a monster, I will deal 3 damage. Second action, I'll hit it again. Plus 1. Is defeated. Last action, uh, we'll move to the Miskatonic University. Maybe we'll break down the door next turn. Um, we'll go to Bob. I will try to evade with Bob, so I am uh, not committing anything. Uh, three versus one. Cultist, and it's a uh, minus two place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. So unfortunately, we just lost that turn because we have a cultist in play. Uh, we'll have to try again. It's uh, minus three. If you fail, place one of your clues on your location. So uh, this is painful. Last try. Finally, it's a minus one, so we at least managed to evade this guy so it doesn't hit us. But still, uh, we'll go to the um, enemy phase. So this guy just ready is in the upkeep. We draw cards, easy mark, and the uh, ropes of endless night. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, uh, before that we get some resources, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We are at 6 of 8 doom. Uh, Lily's encounter card, Crypt Chill. We'll see what we draw, so testing 3 versus 4. I am actually committing both of these, so... Uh, 5 versus 4. Uh, minus two, it doesn't help. We still lose uh, something. I'll lose the clarity of mind. Then uh, Bob's turn. Oh yeah, uh, it's uh, we need to draw something. So obscuring fog. So then there's play here. Okay. Well, that is the middle space. First turn is that Lily will break down the door. Uh, I 
I'm testing four versus four of strength. Yeah. I have nothing to commit, so I'm actually doing this action to get plus five. It's a minus one. We succeed, so the door is broken. Second action will move down here. And last action, I will just engage this guy off of Bob. Bob's turn. Uh, I'll use the free action. Uh, Lily reveals the robes of Endless Night. I'll spend three monies to lay this down. Uh, first real action, I'll move up here. I will investigate using the old key ring. Are you investigating four versus two? Committing uh, five versus two. Zero. And last action, we'll use the key ring. Six ver uh, committing this and this. Six versus two. Skull minus one. Grab the last clue from here. That is the investigation phase. Enemy phase hunting knight can't hit for one damage and one horror. I'll just actually put it on litter. Nothing else happens. We'll go to upkeep. Uh, yeah, I will draw cards, lock picks, and hollowed mirror. Again, when source. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, I think this is the last turn. Uh, we pretty much need to resign. So, let's see what happens. So, I uh, will first add one do. Uh, seven of eight encounter card for Lily is Hunting Shadow. I'll take the damage because I don't have any clues. And we have to actually shuffle the encounter deck. So Bob gets Hunting Shadow. I'll spend one clue. That is the Mythos phase. So uh, Lily's first action is to sign. So Lily resigned. Then Bob moves one location up here and will sign and drops uh, the clue here. So that was the uh, return to the Midnight Masks scenario. Uh, it always gets pretty clutch at the end, but we managed to defeat three cultists, including the Mass Hunter. Also, we got two victory point locations in the graveyard and Miskatan University. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six experience from from the board. And let's just check the resolution. So we resigned. Uh, we locked under the cultists being interrogated the uh, names of these guys. They won't appear in the last scenario. And we record cultists that got away. So we have uh, Peter Warren, Wolfman Drew and Victoria Devereux, which we will face in the last scenario later. Then uh, the cool priest is still dead, so nothing about that. And that was all of the resolution. So I, I think these decks uh, performed pretty well. Uh, this is a hard scenario. Sometimes it might go better, sometimes worse. This time it went pretty down the middle, so we managed to get some uh, victory point locations and defeat three cultists, including the Mass Hunter, which is quite a tough cookie to handle. But uh, Lily Chen was able to beat pretty much everything that was uh, thrown at it uh, or at her. So, um, hope you guys like this playthrough. Uh, keep your eye out for the Devourer Below scenario. I will again uh, add the 
experience into the decks before starting that scenario. Thanks for watching and until next time.